Um, is your favorite game developer racist? Do you guys think that an exclusion of type of character in your favorite video game, fighting game, card game, shooting game, story-based game, an exclusion of a certain race or ethnicity is making your favorite video game developers look racist? Well, apparently unapologetically black thinks that way. My favorite game dev is mad racist? Holy shit. The only reason why Eddie Gordo hasn't been revealed yet is because the creators of At Tekken are racist and don't care about black people or dark-skinned people. So it's going to be a while until the real fighters come out instead of these whites, Latins, and Asians at Harada Tekken. So the first thing I've learned is you never tag Harada in anything. You never tag Harada. Don't tag Harada in anything. You're about to get destroyed. And he already got destroyed. By adder by by Twitter context. Thanks Twitter context for um, for destroying this guy. Uh, this post suggests that there are no black people in Tekken 8, which is untrue. There are currently two black characters in Tekken 8's roster: Tekken.com slash fighter slash Leroy and Tekken.com slash fighter slash Raven. Yikes! Also, isn't Eddie Latin? Yes, he's Latin American black. He's Brazilian, which makes him fake black. But whatever, you know, like it. it sure, some people count it. That's acceptable, right? So if you really like Eddie Gordo, maybe you're offended and upset that Eddie Gordo's not in. But I don't think that inherently makes the game developers racist. I didn't play multi-blood type Lumina, and I haven't played a single multi-blood game. Because that, that game came out around the time that, I don't know if you guys know me, but I try my very best to play black male characters. Or black characters just in general in fighting games. Recently, I've been trying to play mostly black male characters. I like characters that represent me. Not personality-wise, but skin color-wise, alright? I make a lot of racist jokes, and this talk segment may be very colorful, very flavorful with said racist jokes, but at the end of the day, I like my people. I love my people. When they're not being ignorant and niggas, I love my people. So I like to be able to play a character that reminds me of my people, right? Nagori Yuki, Guilty Gear Strives, Zasalamel, Soul Calibur, Leroy, Tekken 7, Raven and Leroy, Tekken 8, DJ, Kimberly, Street Fighter 6. I like to be able to do these things. If I can do them, I'm happy. But I don't think I've ever called it a game developer racist for not including them, right? When I made a YouTube video about why I would not be playing Multi-Blood Type Lumina, people said, you know that it's based off like an existing IP, like the intellectual property already exists and they can't just like add in a black character just to suit the needs of people who want a black character, right? And I said, sure they can, but I don't expect them to, so I won't be buying their product. I said, I, I just won't be playing it because... Guilty Gear did it. Guilty Gear is an existing IP with a storyline, and they added to said storyline by adding a black male character, Nagori Yuki, who is uh, tied to, <laughs> chained to, a slave to, sorry, my bad. Uh, it's a slayer, right? He's a, I think Slayer is his master, his teacher, or whatever, something like that. Uh, I don't really know too much Guilty Gear lore, but they added a new character, and in that context, created a new fan. Maybe they created a bunch of new fans. I don't know. But for sure, they have me, right? Like, I, when I boot back up Guilty Gear, first thing I do is say, I'm picking Nagori Yuki. What are his new changes? Is this character still cool as fuck? Tight, right? He's been, like, top tier every patch. It's kind of hard to kill Nagori Yuki. I don't, they need to, like, sh chain him up, shackle him up. I don't know. Lynch him. Something. Because it, it, clearly he can't, he, he will not die. He's been one of the strongest characters in the game since launch. Now, uh, if we go through the context of, what this guy is asking for. He's specifically looking for, and we can scroll down and you can you can look through. Uh, if you look for the tweet yourself, I'm not going to link the tweet. You go find this fucking tweet. It's pretty. It's probably really easy to find. He has tons of impressions. They're not all positive. This motherfucker is probably going to be ratioed by everybody who quote tweets this. Um, he's explicitly looking for Eddie and Bruce. He wants the OG black characters. Eddie, Bruce, and Armor King. That's what he's looking for. But the way he insinuates that the Tekken developers are racist because they've added new black characters instead of the old black characters is asinine. It's crazy. And I think even more so, without the added context of that, this is still weird because... I mean, with that added context, it becomes weirder because he's looking for different black characters even though there's already black characters in the game. Right? He's like, I want the other ones in the franchise, not these. I don't think that makes a game developer racist. But it does make them maybe insensitive to their giant, massive players. Massive players. There are so many playstyles that are not properly encapsulated with 
the two black characters we have. Right, Bruce, Bruce is a very different character from most of the characters on the roster. You could say, oh, well, Bruce has kind of taken the spot. Steve has kind of taken the spot of Bruce. Like, Steve does a lot of the things that Bruce wants to do. Minus knees and leg strikes because Muay Thai and boxing are not the same. But that style of play is encapsulated in Steve. And for Tekken 7, was encapsulated in Josie and Fakum Ram, right? We don't really technically have that right now. So it is a little strange to see that, that style gone. Kapos, Kapo completely gone. Understandable to be upset about a Kapo being gone and there being no Kapo to replace him. Honestly, if you're going to talk about black characters, why the fuck didn't you mention Tiger Jackson? Why the fuck are you asking for Eddie or Christy? Why not ask for Tiger? Tiger's a nigger. He's got a fro. That is a brother. Okay, that's a full-on American black man. That's what that is. So asking for Eddie's very strange, right? In that in that context. But you guys should see Rada's quote tweet. I hope I have nothing crazy in my bookmarks. I don't. Okay. Nice. If you if you think you can just claim anything that way and it will pass, you are mistaken. Raven and Leroy will kick your ass. Come to think of it, there are no Japanese characters in American dramas and movies that I love. But I have never felt discriminated against because of it. What do you think is the crucial difference between you and me? I'm sure you don't understand. You are not logical at all, and you are simply a delusional person who doesn't even realize it. And even if it were an emotional argument, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, because there are already black characters in Tekken 8. I think that of all the games to try to, like, say, this this game's not inclusive, it doesn't have enough people of every race and color and facet of life and natu nationality, like... Tekken is not the one to fuck with. <laughs> Tekken is very inclusive in their roster. They have tons of different races and and nationalities and play styles. Like, Tekken is a full fighting game, right? It has something for everyone as long as you enjoy 3D fighters. Unless you enjoy a 3D fighter with a block button, in which case, go play Virtual Fighter or Soul Calibur. Get fucked. This take uh, is why it's really hard to listen to the vast majority of your community, right? Uh, because a lot of the vast majority of the community's input is very outlandish. Whether it be about calling your favorite developer racist or saying that a certain play style or a certain game mechanic or a certain character is like too far over tuned and needs to be nerfed without a giant outcry from the entire community. This shit happens all the time. This is probably one of the more wild things I've seen. I don't think I've ever seen anyone call Harada a racist. I've seen someone... Uh, Harada is invited to the cookouts. Harada is 100% absolutely invited to the fucking cookouts. I don't know what this guy's on about. His name is unapologetically black, and honestly, I don't think I'm ever inviting this guy to the cookout. This guy's fucking weird. They should bring back Gone in T8. Only for the ball mode? And give him black Air Force Ones? Why? Why does that matter? I'm so confused. Right, this is outlandish. I I don't expect people to understand the severity of of alle alle allegations like this, right? Because it it just it looks stupid. Like when you look at it from the offset, you're like, this guy's clearly a moron. He's really dumb. It doesn't make sense. But without readers out of context, a lot of times, publication outlets see shit like this, and they're just like, is game? Is this game developer racist? Like, they don't even look up. I promise you, there is a lot of there's a lot of game publications that don't even cite sources as well. So I'm glad Twitter at least does that for us. It adds sources and context so that people don't misconstrue stuff like this. And give the entirety of a game development studio or a publisher, or even just an individual developer, like an individual creator, um, some sort of hurdle to have to jump through on social media. Luckily, Harada is very good at jumping through hurdles on social media. He did it for all of Tekken 7 with the rollback shit. When Tekken 7 clearly didn't have rollback, and everyone figured out Harada has zero clue what he's talking about. But that's okay. At least he's like trying. He's—I tr don't know what kind of language barrier this is, but he's trying something. He was cooking. He's right. This is a totally illogical argument one of the most wild things I've ever seen and honestly he's got a point right like there's tons of American movies that aren't just like let's throw in a Japanese person for inclusiveness like they don't do that right I think 
the last movies I can think of that actively are like, we need a Japanese person are like the Fast and Furious movies. Because they're just like, yo, these are all about Japanese fast cars. Why do we not have a Japanese person? Fucking got it. Han! Like... <laughs> I'm sure there was a legitimate reason for that. I mean, Tokyo Drift did take place in Tokyo, and then after they brought back Han. But regardless, regardless, just try not to be so outlandish in your um, requests and your um, arguments for or against a type of character, type of play style when it comes to a game you love, because this shit is just gonna get you ignored and flamed. The studio will never read what you're looking at. Whatever, read, whatever, we'll never read what you're saying ever again and take it into any serious amount of context. Because as a matter of fact, he looks really racist now. He said whites, Latins, and Asians. They just lump, just lump them all together, bro. Hell yeah. I only love my people because I don't really care about anybody else. If, if I'm honest. If I'm honest, I don't really talk about any other race. Just black people. That's it. All I want is some black characters in a video game. And if I don't get it, I don't call a studio racist. I just generally play something else. Generally, I play something else. And I'm hoping that you guys play whatever games you find enjoyable, regardless of the studio being racist or not, off the top of your head, if that seems to be an issue with a lot of game development studios. Tell me if you guys are excited for Tekken 8. If you guys are excited for any new fighting games on the horizon, what characters you're going to play in Tekken 8? Are you going to play Leroy or Raven? Just, just to spite this guy? Is that going to happen? Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like the video. And uh, this has been Beanie Thuggish talking about more random Twitter bad brain dead opinions. Signing out and saying peace.